What's good, soloist community? The soloist here. Welcome back to another Last of Us video. In this one, we're going to take a look at the state of play. Naughty Dog had released a video uh, about three weeks ago. Mind you, Last of Us Part 2 is set to release in two weeks. I've already pre ordered it, so we're all good to go on that front. I will be honest with you guys, I'm not quite sure what state of play means. I'm assuming that um, in light of all the rumors, the leaks, state of play would have to be something related to that in, in the sense of shedding light on it, you know, providing information or context to what actually happened. So that's my belief, but I'm not quite sure. So we will find that out. If you guys know, if you know what state of play is, you know, exactly, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, that would help me out. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to jump into it. I actually have it here on my desktop. So this is what we're going to check out right now. So let's dive into it. All right. Should be interesting. It's about, uh, I think, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So let's get a look. Okay. I'm not hearing anything. Okay, here we go. I know you wish things were different. Mm. Mm. I wish things were different. Ellie! Joel, but man. They ain't. I remember that. Please stop. Last of Us. My game. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. You gotta survive. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Could have killed you. Maybe you should have. All right. I'm Neil Druckmann, vice president of Naughty Dog and the director of The Last of Us Part Two. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. Yes, sir. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience especially now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different, something we've never done before. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two, including right. new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never-before-seen lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. Oh, yes, sir. All right, so now we know what state of play means, I guess. All of what he said. I don't know what happened. I'm supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. 
The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Or he lied to her. Ellie face. and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of one to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? However, this peace is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country previously unexplored in The Last of Us. Okay. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. I like that. I like that a lot. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. These more open environments also create new strategic considerations in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. The Last of Us Part Two features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Horseback riding will allow Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Look at that quality. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate them. However, the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. <laughs> In the wake of the pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone, where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. Okay. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The Washington WLF are a Liberation. militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another trespasser, a girl. Did you see her? Ah. On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites, or Scars, defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Well, there you have your two factions right there, guys. You got the Zealots. Well, that's not what they're called, but you know, the Zealots. And then you got the W Washington Militia Group right there. Which side are you on, my friend? Clip her wings. <laughs> But beyond this conflict oh. among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. You better hit the that blind shot. but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers, who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility 
and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part II yeah, introduces hit. new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustule. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore oh. cloud that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Overcoming these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you even while in cover. You think this guy's connected to the they can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Wow, that's gonna be Listen tough. mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving fight. and cause distractions to avoid detection. They could be hiding anywhere. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. That makes when sense. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. And you can also break class or crawl through tight spaces That's to find new so paths dope. or areas to evade online, or take man. on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and reestablish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies before dealing a killing blow. Woo! This is gonna be the greatest game. Or I swear to God. using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. <laughs> Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat encounters. Oh shit! Got you now. Yeah, fuck him up. Mess him up. Bro. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. Man. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Flee as they fight, or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. Wow, oh, that's so sick. Look at these stages though, man. Look at these stages. Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that give you greater control and influence over your journey. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to oh, your yeah. weapons through our new workbench that system. Shotgun will be upgraded. Scavenge for parts to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your character. Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items. I like, like it. proximity mines, I like what explosive I'm arrows, pistol suppressors. There's nothing I don't like right now. And more. Ooh. 
All of these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. They really thought this through, man. They really did. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until then, here's an extended sequence of never-before-seen gameplay. Enjoy. All right. So before we get into the gameplay, like I said, I'm just loving what they did, especially with the crafting system. They saw what worked, and I really do feel like they, they listened to what a lot of the factions players, factions is the, the online multiplayer, but also a lot of the people, um, you know, a lot of the players, the community around what made it so great. And I really do feel as if they elaborated on it. The stunning graphics, graphics are amazing. Um, they brought back the bloaters, you know, obviously developed on that aspect of things, combined it with, uh, you know, just different scenarios. I really love how they kind of connected all that. So again, I won't get too much in that. We are just reacting to the state of play, so I don't want to get too off topic, but I see a lot of things uh, that I'm looking forward to. All right, let's check out the gameplay right here. All right, so what we remember, we, you know, she's able to go into the water. It feels very immersing. I say immersing, immersive. I like how the leaves and such move out the way. Okay, so we have her in this kind of uh, storage unit, I guess. Imagine in living in a time like this. Man. Is that person alive? Whoa, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa, that is just nuts. Okay, so I wanted to say something before that, but damn, that's crazy. Oh, man. Look how seamless, this is Last of Us's beauty, right? Look how seamless, and I wanna play it back just a little bit. Look how seamless it went from active gameplay into cutscene kind of thing right like that to me is what i like that seamlessness there's no load screen there's nothing like that check it out guys check it out again i'll go back i don't want to i don't want to go back that far so yeah check it out from here it's seamless Seamless. That to me is what I like about this. Music still playing. Game still playing. Okay, so there we see it. We see some of the parts and how they're going to be scattered around the environment. I really do hope 
um, in Last of Us Part Two, the online multiplayer, that they rid um, rid the game of uh, just the boxes in four different places, the toolboxes that are just randomly there. That is kind of off, considering the scavenging nature of Last of Us. So if they can have it more integrated as that scene showed, where you know it's on top of a tool shed in a place where somebody actually was, things like that, that would be much more Last of Us uh, uh, worthy, I would say. Damn, look how high the grass is. So you want to silence your pistol? That was a good shot. Oh, you crazy stepping out here. Yeah, you have to kill him. You had to kill him. But where's the person they were talking to? Oh! Yeah, you better find a way to use that. Last of Us. Another moment for you guys. That's your point here. Last of Us. Another great moment right there. Last of Us with the crafting system, right? Uh, and it keeps the game live, right? A lot of games have it where you can craft and do that thing in a freezed uh, environment. You press start and you can craft it and you can have it. You know, as she's crafting, you know, these enemies are upon her, coming to her. Like, it very, uh, you have to think, is it time? Can I do this? Do I have enough time to craft all these items? Or do I just craft one thing that will perhaps help me out in this moment? I need to find myself in a situation where I can buy myself a little bit more time. That is Last of Us. They got the hound. <gasps> they killed the dog. <laughs> Are you allowed to do that now? In the sensitive world? Whoever's playing this has really good aim. Everything's a headshot. No hesitation. I wonder how many guns and stuff can she pick up, you know? How many items can she hold with her? Does she slow down? I think that would happen if you got hit in the face with that. That's crazy. 
That's attack. Is that attack? Oh, no, that's a rifle. Oh, she got hit. Oh, fuck. You missed, bro. You can't be missing those. That's three. Here we go. Her endurance must be out of this world, though. Imagine going through all of this, panicked, with a bow, rifle, backpack of food, you know. Got a triple-double, freaking every way like MJ. Wow, they got the music in there, too. She's brave for opening that right away. I would have sat there for about a good minute. But then again, you got to act in this world. You got to move. Don't have too much time to think. Wait around and sit around and think about everything. Hold on, was that, was that the girl? Hold on, hold on, was that? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That wasn't the girl, was it? Bro, like, this is it. Man. Ah, I feel like I'm gonna... I can't see myself being disappointed, guys. I cannot see myself being disappointed from this. So, there's the state of play. Uh, I guess Naughty Dog released. Uh, we talked about the first half, the second half. The gameplay, to me is exactly what I want from a game. Horizon Zero Dawn, um, you know, had a, some of the things that I wanted to see in Last of Us, and you can actually see that whole gameplay system in Last of Us, right? And Last of Us is already such a great game. So part two, I mean, I'm gonna be playing this game on the hardest difficulty. This is everything I needed to be. This video has already went on uh, quite a long time now, so I don't wanna you know overextended but i'm really excited for it, guys let me know in the comments below after watching the state of play or if you've already already watched it before um what's the number one thing you enjoyed out of the state of play what is the one thing you got out of here where you're like damn you know i'm excited for that you know uh you guys let me know uh in the comments below these soloists like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.